and the freaking king is born. Like, finally, what everyone has wanted to see, something that's been so hyped up for so long, and our king is born. Melium is sick. He is absolutely sick. Like, how he comes out, like, like it's like literally too early the queen saying yo the birth of them is too early literally he punches his way out of the queen's belly and like rips open and then you just see him and he looks a lot what my friend this right and you do like he does look like a lot like freezer and a bit with cell with the tail um but he's literally there saying i am hungry feed me and like people that go around like he literally swipes like freaking ants heads off and then he even goes to cult because he's got blood on his tail clean my tail like that and cult is pretty prideful like that and he's in there too and like one of the turtle ones was like oh i'll do it for you it's good thing i've got a handkerchief takes his head clean off and even as well like cult's there like shitting himself doing that and he doesn't even care about his mother there like with all her organs destroyed and a lot of the ants are like very concerned all that and he just runs off with like Nethro Pito and the rest of the Royal Guard and even Colt went up to Nethro Pito, you know, even calling him Dono for Christ's sake and saying, you know, please use your technique what you did on Kite to, you know, save him and what actually is like straight is that, you know, she said we have no use uh, for her anymore ever since the King, they only live for the King, they don't care. And it shows he's a lot different from other ones. And he even, like, he's there standing up on the top of his freaking castle, eating, like, food. And he's like, I don't even care. This is disgusting. And he's like, I want to go and get some food that I had while I was in my mother's belly. And they show, without the queen, because she's going to be dying, the ants are going to have a pretty much a giant, almost like, um, revolution now. Since they're all going to try and become their own kings and try and spread out, make their own colonies. And Cole actually goes over to um, Netero's group and says we surrender and I was like you guys are surrendering like I cannot believe this right now and he's saying just please help our queen he, that's his only condition and that was just so sick and then even like Meliam uh, goes down with his um, his guards down to this town and he just takes these freaking heads off of these two villagers and then even this little kid, and I really do want to see this little kid die, but he's such a heartless bastard where he literally just puts his tail straight in that little girl's head and just say, drain. mainly because those ones are like literally just, he's just hungry. And even as well, like Nefropita says, like, if you want to find the rare ones, and he literally freaking tries to take um, Nefropita's head out, and he say, oh, I actually tried to kill you then, but you survived and you're strong, you have my respect. You just got knocked the fuck out by Ned, by, by Merriam, and you respected that. It's like, oh my god. And as well, we see Knuckle, Ki uh, well, not a kite, um, we see Knuckle shoots Gon and Killua at the end of this episode. And we see Gon with that little thing that takes up his uh, Nen, and we're seeing, like, what happened? Gon lost. Both of them lost. And he's like, there saying, you will save Kai, please do that for me. And they go off, and they, uh, I believe Palm was supposed to go with them as well, but I think that was only if Gon and Killer will win, though. And Gon is there crying, saying, like, I'm so pathetic of my weakness, like that. And even Killer was crying, and he's after, when he's, like, in, in the truck with him, he's going to say, like, after these 30 days of me protecting you, it's goodbye. So that means Killer must have lost as well. It was a really emotional episode with just the crazy. I mean, the only complaint is that I thought like the animation could have looked a little bit better in some scenes, and I didn't think it was like amazing what they've had. I mean, obviously the hunter always looks good, but you know there are certain scenes that look incredible, and just some wasn't that. Good. And uh, that's like the only issue I had. And then it did get slow in a little bit of portions, but that is just traditional hunter. I mean, this was probably a nine for me, definitely. It wasn't perfect, but it was damn right near perfect with our freaking Merriam. He is sick, and I absolutely love this episode. It was great, but 
let me know what you guys think about this episode of Hana Hana because I was blown away by this. The Ant King is freaking here, people. I can't wait. But that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching. Remember, share like Panda, sign out, and I'll see you next time.